In the realm of silver screens and whispered dreams, there exists a timeless masterpiece that has etched its melody into the very fabric of cinematic history. Picture this, a dimly lit theater, anticipation hanging in the air like a delicate veil. The year is 1954, and the world is about to be swept away by the emotional symphony that is a star is born. Perhaps you remember that first encounter, the flicker of excitement dancing in your eyes as the credits rolled. Maybe it was the poignant resonance of a love story that dared to touch the stars, or perhaps it was the haunting power of Judy Garland's voice echoing through the corridors of your memory. If you find yourself lost in the story's embrace, wandering through the highs and lows of fame and heartache, were you captivated by the raw vulnerability that each frame painted across the canvas of your emotions? From the electric chemistry between the leads to the bittersweet ballads that still find their way into your playlists, there's a certain magic in those moments that refuse to fade. But let's turn the spotlight onto the lesser known, the enchanting tidbits that have remained backstage for far too long. Did you know that behind the scenes, a whirlwind of creativity and collaboration shaped the film's destiny? The details, like hidden constellations, await your discovery, the anecdotes that painted the production with shades of challenge and triumph. So, as we venture beyond the curtain, prepare to uncover these intriguing fragments that add depth to the brilliance of A Star is Born. Let's journey into the enigmatic world where dreams meet celluloid, and where stories, both on screen and off, intertwine to create an unforgettable legacy. 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 A Star is Born, a 1954 cinematic masterpiece, portrays the captivating journey of Esther Blodgett, a young woman with immense talent and aspirations to make it big in the world of entertainment. The film, directed by George Cukor, originally emerged as a remake of a 1937 film, evolving over time to encapsulate the essence of fame, love, and sacrifice. Esther, later known as Vicky Lester, encounters Norman Maine, a seasoned but fading actor battling his own demons. Their tumultuous yet heartfelt romance becomes the centerpiece of the story as Vicky's star rises while Norman's declines. The film's narrative delves into the perils of fame, the price of success, and the strains on personal relationships. Judy Garland's and James Mason's performances breathe life into these iconic characters, with Garland's singing prowess adding authenticity to Vicky's rise as a star. The film's distinctive style is marked by its exceptional musical numbers and emotionally charged scenes. The enduring legacy of A Star is Born is evidenced by its influence on subsequent renditions and its lasting impact on popular culture. This cinematic gem resonates with audiences across generations, offering a poignant exploration of dreams, love, and the bittersweet nature of fame, making it an indelible part of cinematic history. History, history, history. Restored glory, a glimpse into A Star is Born's colorful resurgence in a cinematic revival that bridged eras. The UK's BBC unveiled a resplendent treat for film enthusiasts in 2020 a meticulously restored version of the 1954 classic A Star is Born. This edition, a remnant from the 1980s restoration endeavor, radiates with a newfound vibrancy. Evident at first glance, the visuals have shed the vestiges of time, displaying a palette rich in hues. Banished are the once ubiquitous dirty print spots, meticulously scrubbed away to allow the film's brilliance to shine anew. But this restoration is not without intrigue. Attentive eyes will discern instances where lower-grade film stock becomes evident, necessitating the insertion of production stills to fill in for segments of lost footage. This peculiar substitution, however, engenders an unexpected dimension, a self-referential documentary ambience that beckons audiences to contemplate the film's evolution. Foremost, the revival enables us to glean the essence of the original three-hour soundtrack, a guiding thread that helps us envision the absent visuals. With uncanny ease, one can now conjure the specter of the missing scenes, interweaving sound and imagination into a vivid tapestry. Through this auditory portal, the bygone glamour of A Star is Born finds new life, rekindling its emotional resonance. This film, a tour de force in George Cukor's illustrious career, marked multiple firsts for the seasoned director. His 37th creation, it signaled an uncharted foray into the musical genre, showcasing his versatile directorial prowess. The vibrancy of color, a novelty in his repertoire, elevated his canvas, infusing it with an intoxicating vibrance that mirrored the tale's essence. Behind the scenes, intrigue was afoot as well. The casting dice had rolled in an alternate direction. Frank Sinatra had been in the spotlight for the role of Norman Maine. However, his perceived box office jinx at the time shrouded the prospect in doubt. Only the fervent championing of Judy Garland and her husband dared to challenge the prevailing sentiment, hinting at a different trajectory the film might have traversed. As the restored reels of a star is born flicker to life once again, an intricate mosaic of past and present emerges. A convergence of color and sound, preserved through the passage of time, offers a beguiling vantage into the fervor that captured audiences more than half a century ago. This revival is not merely a technical accomplishment but a testament to the enduring allure of a timeless cinematic gem. Gem. Gem.
Gem, A Star's Journey, Rejections and Vanishing Acts in the Annals of Hollywood Lore. A Star is Born stands as a testament to the behind-the-scenes intricacies that often remain hidden from the silver screen's luminous glare. The 1954 cinematic gem, directed by George Cukor, has woven itself into the tapestry of film history, leaving a trail of intriguing anecdotes. Notably, the role of Norman Maine, a once iconic actor grappling with the shadows of his former glory, took a tumultuous journey before finding its rightful home in James Mason's capable hands. A constellation of Hollywood's elite, including Bogart, Brando, Grant, Sinatra, and more, danced around the role, only to deem it unfitting for their illustrious personas. It was Mason who, with a nuanced touch, breathed life into the character, bringing a poignant authenticity to the portrayal that lingered long after the credits rolled. Judy Garland, herself a star of the silver screen, sought a familiar face for the part. She suggested John Hodiak, her co-star from The Harvey Girls, but fate had other plans as Hodiak's unavailability left the role unclaimed. An ironic twist of fate, as Garland's meteoric rise as Vicky Lester clashed with the vanishing act of Amanda Blake, whose role disappeared into the editing abyss post-premiere. The cut was aimed at trimming the film's runtime, revealing the harsh editorial decisions that shape a movie's destiny. While Garland and Mason shone on screen, another luminary, Montgomery Clift, cast a deliberate shadow over his potential involvement. Declining the role of Norman Maine, Cliff cited discomfort with the intimate subject matter hitting too close to his own experiences. It's a poignant reminder of the personal stakes that often underscore artistic choices. A Star is Born not only etched itself into cinematic history but also into the tales of missed opportunities, deliberate disappearances, and the delicate dance of actor-director chemistry. The journey from script to screen proved to be as star-studded behind the scenes as it was in front. An emblem of Hollywood's grandeur and its intricacies, forever captured frame by frame, frame by frame, frame by frame. Judy Garland's enduring musical gem, A Star Is Born's enriched soundtrack in 1954, the silver screen dazzled with the release of A Star Is Born, a cinematic masterpiece that still resonates today. Amid its glitz and glamour, the film's music soared to prominence, yielding a soundtrack that left an indelible mark on popular culture. The original Columbia Records soundtrack LP, a sonic embodiment of the film's emotional depth, remarkably reached fourth place on Billboard's esteemed albums chart. This auditory triumph has since undergone evolution, with two enhanced versions emerging from the Sony label. The 1988 CD offered a taste of true stereo, while the 2004 deluxe package unveiled hidden treasures, an unused Judy Garland rendition of It's a New World, snippets like the Trinidad Coconut Oil Shampoo TV jingle, and even the discarded chorus of When My Sugar Walks Down the Street from the memorable Born in a Trunk sequence. But that's not all. The musical magic extends further, showcasing the full orchestral intros to Garland's memorable performances like Gotta Have Me Go With You and her Academy Award-nominated piece De Resistance, The Man That Got Away. The score by musical director Ray Heindorf, nominated for an Oscar, receives a rightful spotlight, unearthing portions absent from the finished picture. Behind the scenes, a captivating narrative unfolds. The film's budget, a staggering $5,019,770 rendered at Warner Bros. Costliest endeavor, trailing only the 1946 classic Duel in the Sun. Judy Garland, the film's luminous star, left her own mark. After filming concluded, she surreptitiously transported furniture from the set to her home. However, her clandestine endeavor came to light when she invited producer Jack L. Warner for a post-premiere visit. A cinematic heist of sorts, adding a touch of real-life drama to the film's narrative. In the annals of cinema, A Star Is Born remains an illustrious gem. Its music, a symphonic embodiment of passion and artistry, echoes across time. Garland's enigmatic allure, both on and off-screen, infuses the film with a mystique that continues to captivate. As the years roll on, the legacy of A Star Is Born shines ever brighter, an emblem of Hollywood's golden era. Nera, 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 Nera. As the curtains draw to a close, we find ourselves at the crossroads of memory and emotion, wrapped in the timeless tapestry woven by the 1954 masterpiece, A Star Is Born. This cinematic gem, with its melodic crescendos and poignant performances, has etched itself into the annals of our hearts. As you walk the corridors of your own memories, allow this classic tale to become more than just a movie. Let it resonate with the crescendos of your dreams, the echoes of your passions, and the cadence of your journey. Perhaps you recall the crackling anticipation as the lights dimmed, the first chords of a song that stirred your soul, or a character whose struggles mirrored your own. What makes a star is born more than celluloid and sound is the connection it fosters. It's an invitation to reflect on the stories we live, the dreams we pursue, and the love we cherish. It's a reminder that amidst life's symphony, we are both audience and protagonist, our narratives intertwining with those of the characters on screen. As the credits roll on, I encourage you to pause and ponder. What is your personal constellation of memories tied to this film? What chords has it struck within you? Take a moment to share your reflections, to paint with words the emotions that a star is born has evoked in you. 
Your thoughts are the threads that enrich the fabric of this cinematic legacy. In the grand tapestry of existence, movies like A Star is Born stand as guiding stars, illuminating our own stories with their brilliance. Thank you for lending your heart to this shared experience, for allowing the reel to unwind through your memories and sentiments. Until we cross paths again on the silver screen of imagination, may your days be as vivid as the frames of this timeless classic. Warmly, your name. Warmly, your name. Warmly, your name. Warmly, your name. Warmly, your name.